Microsoft Planner is getting a refresh. There's new capabilities now available in Planner on the web and also some new features alongside some features which have also been removed from Planner. So if you use Planner as your task management app of choice, this tutorial is not one you're going to want to miss. And before we dive in, if you want to improve the way that you manage your tasks on Microsoft 365, why not download our latest ebook link below and improve the way that you manage your tasks. So let's dive into Microsoft Planner and find out what's new. So let's start off with Microsoft Teams and here we've opened the Microsoft Planner app. You'll know from our past videos where we've covered this in more detail. This is a new Planner experience built on Planner Premium and also the original version of Planner. But there was always a problem. If we opened Planner on the web, it would be vastly different. Well, not anymore, because now the new Planner for the web is rolling out. And if I go ahead and open up Microsoft Edge, you'll see it right here. Yes, browsing over to Planner on the web via your normal link will take you to this brand new experience. And is there anything different in here from the Teams app? Well, not really. Most of the capability you see in the Teams app is also available through Planner on the web. Yes, you'll be able to access all of your tasks through My Day. Get a view of all of your tasks over all of your plans, be it Planner Premium, Planner Basic, also Microsoft To Do and any Loop Task List. And we'll also cover a little bit more on that later in this video. In addition, we can get a view of all of those plans. And now we can go ahead and create personal plans using this Planner experience. But the biggest change in Planner on the web is bringing in Planner Premium, because now you can create Planner Premium plans directly through the web experience. For example, if I select Project Management and then Premium, we can select Use Template and begin to create our brand new Planner Premium plan. And as you likely already know, Planner Premium brings additional capabilities, the ability to have subtasks, groupings, timeline views, and also track resources and goal management, and even new co-pilot capabilities inside of Planner. So this is the most fundamental change we've seen in Planner over the last few months, bringing both the Teams experience and Planner on the web both into the same capability. So no longer will you and your team get confused switching between the two, They're now fully in line and brought together in the same experience. And there is some new capabilities that the Planner team have also introduced. However, these may feel pretty familiar because they were available in the older version of Planner. For example, you can now click in the drop down on your plan name and select Export to Excel. And when you've exported your plan to Excel, you'll see it's pretty detailed. We have all of the task IDs, names, durations, finish dates, and any custom columns you've also created. In addition, under project goals, you'll be able to see progress against goals as well. So export to Excel is now available both in the web version and also in addition, you'll even find it directly through the Microsoft Teams Planner app in the same capability. This time, as you'll see, it downloads to the location set in your Teams app. A new capability now also shows loop task lists that you've added into loop pages or meeting notes now appearing inside of Planner. Yes, under my plans, whether using Teams or the web version of Planner, you'll be able to go ahead and open those task lists. For example, here's our November meeting from Project Greenspace. By left clicking it through my plans, I can see tasks I actually added inside a Microsoft loop. But how can we easily get back to loop from here? Well, click in the drop down next to the plan name and you'll see the loop icon. Left click, it takes you straight back into the loop page where these tasks were added right from our meeting itself. So that's a quick way to get back to your task list created in loop and managed in Planner in a couple of clicks and even see it through my plans in a new version of Planner. And we're also now seeing two new templates into Planner. If we go ahead and create new plan, whether on the web or in Teams, scroll down to see all templates. And then here at the bottom, you'll see new templates for a CRM pipeline and help desk tickets. These are both Planner Premium templates, but you can now select these and use them directly inside a Microsoft Planner. Now you're providing two additional templates you can select from. 
but these changes have also led to many questions. A lot of you have reached out asking questions around Planner Premium and other capability that you can't seem to find in this newly updated version. So let's cover off a few of those key questions. The first one is, what happens if you've uploaded files into your group where the planner resides? There's no easy way for this new app or on the web to get back to those files. We can easily do that by going into Planner on the web, select the drop down next to your plan name, and now you'll see Teams files. This will now open the group site that sits behind your plan that you've uploaded files to before. But it works a little differently in basic versions of Planner, i.e. not Planner Premium. Let's go back into Planner and we'll also open one of our basic plans. But in the drop down, you'll see there's no Teams files options. Instead, select the team or group name here. It now opens in the same experience. So it's a little tricky. I know many of you have got stuck between those two different experiences between the new planner and the old planner capability using the new planner app. So hopefully that one clears that up. And another question you had is around deleting plans. Because when I click in the drop down inside of the new planner app, there doesn't seem to be any delete button. But select plan details and at the bottom of the screen here, you can select delete and delete the plan that is also available in Planner Premium. We go ahead and open one of our premium plans, select plan details, but this time select the freed up menu and then select delete plan. Two different ways to do it with using Planner Premium or Planner Basic, but both give you the same option to delete that plan. Another question often asked is in my tasks, can I group this into a board or schedule view? Unfortunately, it doesn't seem to be possible. Looking at these capabilities here, you can filter through my tasks, which is both the same on the web and in the Teams app, but sadly, there's no current way to group it in a way by boards or schedule view. Hopefully we'll see that in the future. And another question that's cropped up is connecting your plans into Outlook. Before we had the ability to create a link and bring it into Outlook that would often or very rarely update. So it wasn't a great experience. But where is this button now went in a new version of Planner? Because if you look back at this version on the web, well, there's nothing here to connect any of our plans into Outlook via the link. Well, unfortunately at the moment, there seems to be no ability to do that in a new Planner app, whether on the web or in Teams. So this has now been removed from the product is hard to understand, but sadly for the moment, there's no way to link a plan into Outlook. So what do you think about these new changes in Microsoft Planner? Are they positive or do they bring more challenges? Because of course we now see Planner on the web and Teams together on the level playing field. It means we may well see the capabilities promised now arriving in Planner that can make it even better than what it was before. But I'd love to know your questions and also your thoughts so we can follow up on a future video on our channel. So why not hit the subscribe button so you can see that video when it lands. Other than that, if you like this video, hit that like button and don't forget to download our latest ebook on how to improve task management in Microsoft 365. Other than that, well, I'll be seeing you in the next one.